So AdReady is a technology platform that makes display advertising accessible to more advertisers. So typically, if you think of digital advertising or online advertising, most people think about search advertising. And there are about a million and a half, I think, businesses, according to Google, uh, that buy search advertising. If you look at the total number of businesses last year that bought display advertising, it's around 50,000. It's less. Significantly less. So there's 1.45 million businesses that, pr that, pr yeah, that probably should be buying um, display advertising that aren't. And so you look at the reasons as to why they're not. And it's typically because the costs are too high. So the cost of creative, the cost of the media, the faxing and IOing, the traditional process by which media is typically bought really prevents smaller advertisers from buying that type of media. So AdReady eliminates those barriers to, to entry. So you can come to AdReady, you can create a campaign in 10 minutes, uh, both the creative and the media, and run that on, on websites that reach 95% of the internet, includes Yahoo, Google, New York Times, ESPN, and many others, and it lets you really reach the audience that you want for as little as $300 a month. So now the barriers are removed, it's going to democratize display. You know, on the traditional side, those advertisers have had access to that media. And they've been, you know, one of the most surprising things is if you talk about a television spot and you say what Pepsi pays for a 30 second position versus what a local advertiser pays, you'll find that the local advertiser typically pays more on a rate basis, on a CPM basis, than what the national guys do. Well, online, that should still be the case. So if we can get these smaller advertisers in, they can afford to pay higher rates for this space. So and it'll stop being the classmates.coms and the lower my bills of the world. They get all this display space and it'll start to be you know, the local auto dealer, the local LASIK eye surgeon sure. that gets this space and you know, should be able to make it more effective. So I, I would always recommend you start with their search advertising. And you get that. That's like having your ad in the yellow pages. When people are searching for you or searching for your products, you want to be in front of those people. So I would say if you're not doing any advertising at all and you have $1,000, start with the search advertising piece. Get your ads in front of the people when their intent is to look for something that you sell or you can provide. So second then is take that additional money that you haven't spent on search because typically you can't spend all your money on search alone. It just doesn't have that much scale to it. So it'd be like saying you're gonna run all your offline marketing on yellow page ads. It just, you, you can't do it, right? And so the next logical place for digital advertising is in display or banner ads. And so do search first, run display second. It's the same as what traditional uh, media has done by keeping products and names and in, you know, awareness basically, keeping those name brands in your head so that when you're looking for things, you have that brand recognition, you're going to satisfy that. So putting a display ad out there, running on let's say an, a page talking about the next newest convertible, when you're the local dealer, when that dealer goes and types in a search and they see your name, they're gonna be more likely to actually click on that. For the same reason brand works. Same reason, same exact reason. So you're going to get a lift, you're going to get more exposure, you're going to get more awareness, and you're ultimately going to get people to actually type your name in into the search engine. So one of the, uh, prior to AdReady, I ran online marketing for classmates.com for six years, and our highest search term, our best performing search term was actually our own name, classmates.com. So people would go to the search engine, type in classmates.com to get to our website rather than typing in their browser. And I would pay to have my ad in front of those people when they're looking for me. I just recently re uh, read there's a controversy about why. I mean, if you're Target, why would you buy the name Target? You're number one on the list, yep. and you bought the one, and people would say, I mean, some people don't know, so they just click the one at the very top, and you're paying three bucks. Yep. You don't have to pay that much for your own name, probably. You probably get a pretty good rate on your own name. It's it depends on how competitive it. it is, right? Walmart's bidding on Target. They're going to bid Target out. But no one's really bidding you up. You can buy your you, own. Name you can usually cheap. afford to pay more than anybody else because the conversion rate on the other end, once that customer comes to you, they want to get to you. So they're going to do what you want. So the reason you do it is because if you pay $3, you're probably going to earn $6, 9 or $12 back on that $3 that you spent. And so it's just financially worthwhile for you to do it. It's not really fun to do, but financially it's worthwhile. Um, what we do, because we're going to do it for thousands of customers and thousands of very small campaigns, the ad units have to be scalable. So they have to be accepted by Google and Yahoo and all the networks that we work with. So typically that's a more of a standard ad. But as those formats become more standardized, 
we would absolutely look to incorporate them. So now we, we accept video and can make in-banner video ads available to for our customers to run across the networks in that we're connected banner to. banner video ads, meaning inside your banner, it'll be video, yes. not a banner ad on, a, on, top of, uh, on top of a video, like a YouTube video. Correct, the first one that you mentioned. Often you use more like a some kind of animation where you just like stop motion, the car looks like it's animated, but yeah. it's really yeah. just being moved in static positions. So our, our technology lets you take, let's say, your traditional television commercial, upload it to our system, and then we'll actually put it in a player and, and put it into a banner position. Let's say maybe it's running on Yahoo Autos, for example. And, and you can have your video commercial playing inside that banner space. But what about its dimensions? So you say so you, it's a 16 by 9, and now you've got a banner that's a you know, one by nine. Well, we would only put it in spots where it makes sense. So typically that's more of a rect or a square, like a 300 by 250 or whatever. So we wouldn't put it in a 468 by 60, for example. You don't have any way to compress it down and make it look... To make um, it look we good. can compress it down. It just a lot of times weird. doesn't look well good enough. The thing we can do, though, is we can do all the streaming and everything and do the hosting of that video. So it makes it easy for you to give us what is a traditional television commercial, and then we can run that elsewhere. Now. What I'll show you, what I'll tell you is, a lot of the times those ads don't perform as well as a standard display ad does. So you'll get a better response rate, more conversion on your on your on on a standard ad than you will, let's say, a video ad. Sure, but the agencies want the video. Uh, they like to see they're, they're creative. You know, right, right. You know, so that's one of the problems. So we we encourage them to test both, so you can see the results. And if you want to run the less the lower performing ad, great, but. Let me show you what it is and then have you make that Why decision. Is that? Why is a more boring ad uh, more likely to pull? Because they're so used to it, the other being more, if it's more like form over substance? Or, 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 or? I, I just, I, I don't know if we're, I don't know actually if, if we're far enough along in the internet to know why for sure. I, I think it, the more it looks like the website and the content of the website and like that it's real, um, or you know, even if it's a real ad, the the more likely the user is to click on it. The less it looks like some sort of non-ad, the, the less likely they are to click on it. Well, if you if you take a standard ad and run it, a standard image ad versus the text ads, you'll get significantly better performance out of the image ad than the than, yes, you will than the standard text ad. Why do they run the text ads? Because they haven't had a solution for image ads. I think it will be it won't. It won't be long before you'll see image ads in search results pages, I believe.